Hey there, it is Sarah here. In this video, I am going to show you how to optimize your blog post. Um, so what I want you to do is open up your blog and then I want you to select the individual post. Um, now, ideally, you wanna do this within um, 10 to 15 minutes right after publishing. I found that this is the best way to do this. Um, so what I've done is I've actually, I actually went ahead and I published the post already. And so I have what's called a PERMA link. So the PERMA link is only live after you publish your post. And the PERMA link is what links you back to this exact blog page. Otherwise, if you simply do this prior to having a PERMA link, um, what's going to happen is your photos are going to be linked to just your regular blog landing page and not necessarily this blog. And if a visitor is coming to your site months down the road, so let's say, remember what our goal is. Our goal is for you to have your blogs visible in whatever category or title or audience you're looking for, if you did that exercise with me. So, so let's say that this is going to be a 21 day fix recipe or a weight loss or clean eating, right? So my goal is to have this image found on Google whenever somebody types in 21 day fix recipe or turkey veggie burger. Okay, so that is my goal. However, if I don't correctly put the link to this image in the blog post, what's going to happen is somebody is going to click on this either from Google Images or Pinterest and it's gonna take them to my regular blog. If someone can't find something on your website within the first three seconds, they are going to bounce off your site, which which is, well, they're gonna leave your site, which is called bouncing. You know, they gonna bounce, they bounce, they gone. They're gonna go to a blog where they can easily find what they're looking for without having to search through hundreds of posts, right? That's what people do. They're looking for convenience and they want it fast, they want it now, they don't wanna to have to search. So. That is really bad for your blog rankings. What's gonna happen then is that's gonna rank you lower down on Google Images and their algorithm, and it's gonna make you, it's gonna impact your score negatively. So what you wanna do is you want to grab this permalink and hit Control C, which is also copy. And when you're going through any of the images that you put into a blog post, you wanna make sure that when you click that little, I don't know why it does that, when you click that little link, it always says open in a new link window and it has the perma link to the blog post. So you're gonna do that for every single image located in your blog. So I've done that for this one. Guys, don't judge, I'm totally not a food blogger. Um, however, this image, so instead of placing advertisements in my blog, what I have done is I'm simply advertising what I'm offering, which is my free support group for weight loss and fitness. So instead of putting a link to the blog in here, I put a permalink to my Facebook group. So if somebody finds that, okay, so what I'm gonna put is I'm gonna put um, Weight Watchers. Now why, you guys, why would I put Weight Watchers in the tag for this? Why would I put that? Because, I don't just wanna capture people who are already having what I'm doing. I want to think of, okay, who, where are people losing weight, right? So Weight Watchers is one of them. They might be looking for a free support group online. So Weight Watchers, Bikini, Body, Mommy, Slim Down with Sarah, um, losing weight, lose weight after baby. Leah, that's my toddler in the background. So I'm gonna click postpartum weight loss, body after baby, and I'm gonna put my blog link in here, sarahmichaels.com, hashtag Sarah Michaels, hashtag beach body challenge, hashtag 21 day fix, hashtag beach body coach, hashtag bombshell challenge, hashtag weight loss. All right. So those are the things that I'm going to put into there. Okay. So the next thing, so make sure all of your images are properly tagged. Um, the tags mean that little section right there that's called the alt text. Now I went ahead and I inserted a slideshow just so that you could see how it would look to optimize a slideshow. So I want you to double click on that and it's going to take you to the gallery page. You want to make sure that every single post has the title. So I just copy and pasted the title into each one. 
Now, why did it not save the description? And then I'm going to go ahead and control C, copy, and I'm going to paste each of the descriptions into the description section, and then I'm going to click done. The next thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the proper tags and categories listed. For example, this is listed underneath of clean eating recipes, gluten-free, 21 day fix, paleo, whole 30. Okay. Um, and then the very last thing is, well, first you can select some more related posts if you want. And then underneath of advanced, you want to make sure that you have a title listed that's clear and easy, your description, an excerpt, and then a mobile title. And this is what it will look like on Google. If you don't include these things, you're not going to rank very high on Google and people aren't going to find you. So once you click done and you've done all of your things, I want you to go ahead and click on update post. So then you can go ahead, go back to the permalink for the post, click refresh. And what you're going to do then is you're going to pin this. So you're going to click the pin image. So if you have the pin icon, if you have the pin icon, I want you to click pin this, and then you're going to go ahead and click save. So for example, um, I'm going to say 21 day fix, each body challenge, www. I like putting that three times, and I'm going to say fat flush phase one, fat flush phase two, fat flush foods, and then I'm going to go ahead and click that to beach body challenge. So you can pin this to different boards. Then the next thing that you're going to want to do um, is get it onto your other social media. So if you have an Instagram, great. Put that image on Instagram. You can see, for example, that I put new blog post ups. They're 21 day fix approved. The reason that I hashtag this in a Facebook post is because when people are searching for 21 day fix, they're going to be looking for um, recent posts, posts from friends, all of that jazz. So make sure that you're optimizing that on your Facebook page when you're posting. I also went ahead and I included a photo into the recipes album. So the reason I did that is so that people can see that there's a blog post and they can also have this located in the album so that if they're searching anytime, not right now, down the road, they'll be able to find this in my recipes. So that is how I go ahead and I optimize my blog posts. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, and like I said, eventually down the road, when somebody types in 21 day fix turkey burger, I want my image I want my image to be popping up here. And the reason that I want it to pop up for 21 Day Fix Turkey Burgers is because then they're obviously going to come to my site and they're going to look at my stuff, which in turn gets my BYOB challenge out there as well as my BYOB accountability group. So when you're properly tagging things on Google and your blog and you're taking that little bit of extra time, you're increasing your traffic which is going to expand your brand and increase your influence, which is especially important if you're looking to turn your passion into profits, or even if you don't want profits, if you simply have a vision and a mission, this is going to bring that further and reach more people with whatever it is that your message is through your blog or your website. So this is an extremely important step. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.